Hi, I'm Mark Lawson, president of the ECS Publishing Group, and we are pleased to be joined by composer Kyle Peterson to talk about two new pieces that are very appropriate for high school and collegiate choirs. The first piece is a piece called Choose Love, and I think that this is an original text of yours, Kyle. So talk about this piece. It's a, it's a wonderful piece, and it starts out in Latin. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, Mark. Um, Lee Nelson approached me and well, actually, before he approached me, uh, I had heard Lee do Moonlight Sound Design, uh, another piece that you published with hand pan. Fell in love with it, so much so that I went out and did what any uh, rational composer would do, and I bought my own hand pan. The, earlier this year, I was joking with Lee. I said, I've got my hand pan, Lee. If you ever want a piece from me, let me know. He emails back saying, well, um, if you want to write one, that'd be great. I'll take one. And then I wasn't sure if he was kidding or not kidding. So I said, well, if you're not kidding, then I'm not kidding. So once we figured out we weren't kidding and that we were both interested in, in, in writing a piece, uh, off we went. Uh, and so I was noodling on this, this text, this Latin text that I had stumbled across somewhere. Uh, Astra inclinant, sed non obligant. And the, the translation roughly is, the stars may incline us, but they do not bind us. And I thought, oh, that's, that's lovely. Timely, it resonated with me right away. This idea that we've got all sorts of influences in our lives. Um, family influences, culture, um, political party expectations, um, genetic predispositions. But despite all of those influences, day to day, we always have the ability to choose. We can choose uh, how we're going to interact with others, choose what we're going to say, what we're going to do, what we won't say, what we won't do. And so, I, and the question then becomes, what, what will we choose? Uh, and, and so the, this, this piece is kind of a meditation on the idea of choosing love. And I've, I've juxtaposed the Latin with the English and hand pan with piano. Although if, if you don't have a hand pan laying around, there's a, a piano only accompaniment that works just as well. Um, and sort of a, a, a mystical vibey chant like beginning with the, with the, with the Latin that then morphs into this, the, the English set to a more common contemporary chord progression. So I tried to marry sort of marry ancient and modern together. And of course, Wartburg just sings the heck out of it. There's a wonderful recording and video of this that I would encourage people to take a look at. So then the um, holiday concert wouldn't be complete without a good setting of God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. So uh, talk about this one. This is just such a uh, high energy piece. Yeah, intentionally so, because I think that so many Christmas carols are lush and lovely. And so many are majestic and big and strong, but there aren't a ton that are just high energy and fun that can really get an audience or a congregation moving and shaking and smiling and tapping their feet. And so I've always thought that this melody and, and text bring, bring me tidings of comfort and joy sets up so nicely for, for high impact, high energy. And so I set it kind of a cross between blues and jazz and, and pop and rock. There is a, a rock and piano part, and then we added an optional bass optional drums uh, and an optional fiddle, uh, kind of blues fiddle, and then an optional wailing soloist, either soprano or tenor. And you put all those elements together and it's less than three minutes of intense fun. Well, thank you for these pieces. Uh, and I hope that people will take a chance to look at our website and listen and uh, consider these for their library. Thank you very much for joining us, Kyle. Awesome to be here. All right, take care.